It is safe to say that my last week was a failure. We unlocked Lunars for the pure bracket just to find out Vengeance doesn't work with one defense. So I couldn't go peeking in the pure bracket. And then I also lost a life after dying at the Barrows. But today we are making a comeback. We're gonna go up to the highest combat bracket world. And we're gonna unlock all the gear necessary for the one versus ones. And hopefully we don't die. Oh look at this beauty, we got a dragon plate skirt, it's actually worth a lot in game, well we can high it for 160 if we want, or sell it in the GE. This is gonna be level, there we go, 99 range, we have done it, 98 combat still. Whoa, tier 5 emblem, oh, let's go. Alright, we're gonna cash this in straight away, beautiful. For every tier 5 emblem you get, you can cash it in for 1.5 million points. This equals to a lot of supplies or a granite mall ornament kit, which you can sell for 800k. 88 strength, almost 101 combat for the next combat bracket. We're gonna pause right here, we're gonna grab ourselves a fire cape before moving up in the brackets. There we go, beautiful, that's the final hit, beautiful, 5 cave completed, 1 hour and 6 minutes, let's get out of here. Alright, I need to protect my lives in case I die, so I bought myself a sigil of the guardian angel. And before we go to the next combat bracket, we will be going to the corporal beast. I was assigned this mission by my clan. Oi, one kill count, we got nothing. Uh oh. Yeah, too many. Of course, I'm the one to die here. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. They call me Sit Rat! <laughs> that was fun event at Corp. Most expensive um, 5 mil sigil right there. After dying at Corp, I decided to log out and grab myself a snack because eating is something many of us forget to do during dead man mode. My snack of choice this time was a healthy bowl of cereal from Magic Spoon. And luckily for all of us, Magic Spoon happens to be today's video sponsor. Magic Spoon is a cereal reinvented for adults. Their variety pack comes with four delicious flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. My favorite flavor have been a mix of cocoa and peanut butter. I know it's illegal to mix flavors of cereals, but you guys can send me to jail because this mixture was worth it. The Magic Spoon cereals have 0 grams of sugar, 13 grams of protein, and only 4 grams of carbs in each serving. A total of 140 calories per serving. They are also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. And since I've started going to the gym a lot this year, this have been the perfect midday snack for me. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money. Click my link below and use code CENGINEER at checkout to get $5 off your first order. What flavor will you try? Alright, my first ever superior drop is going to be... Oh. Sea turtles. Hello, another pair of dragon plate legs. Thank you. This will be me leaving the medium combat bracket and entering the highest combat bracket in Deadman mode. Boom, an 89 strength. We can no longer kill things. Let's get out of here. All right, we're in the final combat bracket. I'm finally getting my defender. It took me a while. And there we go. We got the first defender, bronze. And there we go. We are done. Dragon defender. Five minutes spare on the protection, too. Beautiful. 85 defense. We got 8 combat levels since we since the last clip probably. Finally we get an emblem. Tier 5. Let's go. I've decided to get myself an upgrade, a dexterous prey scroll for rigor. Apparently clans have been locking down raids for the entire tournament, so the price of dexterous prey scrolls are just going to go up, so I might as well get it now. Then later. I also got myself another guardian angel. It's just not worth losing your bank key when you can just protect everything in your bank for 5 mil. So it's time for me to start PVMing Armadil specifically for the best in slot armor, Armadil chain skirt and Armadil chest plate. Uh, so we completed death plateau. We're gonna need a sigil of last recall to efficiently do Armadil. The Sigil of Last Recall does the same thing it did on Leagues. It teleports you back to the location from which your most recent teleport occurred. So I can teleport back to God Wars Dungeon in a click. Alright, here we go, first kill. Black Dehyde Body. 
Finally, I think I need to dip here. Rune arrows, I saw blue text. I was like, oh, this is good. All right, two kills, one trip. Uh, we can do better next time. Oh, supply drop. <laughs> Best drop so far, sadly. <gasps> oh, we got something. We got a hilt. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got a hilt. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's big money. Big, big money. How much can we sell this for? Well, 21 kill count for an item and it is the hilt. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got it. We got it. Armadillo God Sword. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I will be keeping the Armadillo God Sword in my deposit box for now. Let's go back to Armadillo. So while I was getting kill count at Armadillo, my team told me there's a war at Corporal Beast. So I decided to bring my second account and see what's going on. Look at all the loot I got from being in a rag war. And that's my skull gun. Look at the loot. It's not worth 7.7 .7 mil, but uh, this will supply my uh, armadillo a lot. Beautiful. Medium. Oh my god. We actually. I got a hilt. We got a hilt. Duo split, okay. That's beautiful. The armadillo hilt is not really the best item to get at the armadillo because it's not used at the one versus ones, but it does pay for the supplies for more armadillo. Oh, uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Damn. a shard. All right, we got a shard there anyway. <laughs> I thought it was a, oh. uh, I thought we got it. Me and uh, my teammate, we're splitting the ages. 3.5 mil each. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, hey. Let's go! Oh, of a minion? Oh. minion. Alright. Yo, oh my I, god. I need to bank this. Oh my god, let's go from a minion. Oh, a minion, bro, that's sick. Flock leader Jerin coming in here with armor those skirt. Um, I don't know if I want to keep it for the one versus ones or not. Probably not. It's too many switches and I know it's laggy. I'm gonna slow sell the AGS I got earlier, um, earlier today. We're gonna put it at 8 mil. I didn't even realize, but we got 99 HP as well. We're gonna try to slow sell the armadillo chain skirt in the grand exchange as well for 30 mil. Uh, maybe it will sell overnight. We don't know yet. Oh, my AGS sold. Nice. So I decided to invest the GP I got from my AGS into a Blood Shard and a Fury. This is my amulet for the final hour. I also decided to accept a donation from Dash, a Dragon Fire Shield, and a Vesta Longsword. With clans running around locking down all types of content, this is a necessary upgrade to even have a small chance of winning one round. In the one versus ones. This gotta be selling at 15 mil. Oh my, okay, we got 16 mil. All right, I got myself a twisted buckler. We're gonna put this in the deposit box. I'll probably sell it back in the future. I want the opportunity to do Ceradome in Godless Dungeon. So I got myself 70 agility. All right, we got a Sarah sword on our first Ceradome in Godless Dungeon trip. It's not really useful on this on this game mode anymore. So, I mean, we'll take it. Intense competition phase. Yeah, yeah, well. and I think he didn't do Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, yes. We got it! Holy Woo. shit! Get, get out of here! Get out of here! We sold the entire ACB for 40 mil, meaning we get a split of 13 mil each. And we also got a sigil of the skiller for 1 mil split each. Thank you. We're gonna put all this money into buying ourselves a dragon crossbow. 14.4 mil doesn't buy, but apparently it should be slow buying at this price. And there it is, the dragon crossbow for 14 mil. Straight into the deposit box. Look at that. The only thing we need now is the armadillo plate. Potentially armadillo skirt as well. So everyone on DMM got their own item to merge. Mine is mithril grapples. You get them for free at armadillo and it's good passive income. Oh no. We got a shard one. Oh no, we got an armadillo helmet. I don't even want to bank this. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. We got it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god. We got it. Get out of here. Get out of here. We're done. We're done. We're done with Arma. 
Let's go, baby! Yes! Let's go! Our deposit box! Look at it! It's so beautiful! It's actually so freaking beautiful! The armadillo chest plate! The one item we wanted, and we got it. At this point, there are not many more upgrades I need for the one versus ones. Uh, so I decided to do some corp with my team. If we manage to get ourselves a sigil, we will be able to upgrade pretty much anything. And if I die on this account, it doesn't really matter because this is my alt account. I keep all my stats if I die, and I only lose like a Sammy Spear, which is worth like nothing in that my mode. Whoa, I got a kill. Oh my god, you're balling. You guys want me to test if I can- Oh, oh, oh my god! We got an arcane! Oh, oh, no way. oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Let's go. Hey. Our plan with the arcane sigil is to sell it to a clan who is looking to win the dead memo tournament. They're gonna need this item for the future, for the one versus ones. And we, I think we sold this for around 700 mil, I'm not sure how much it was. But we got a 66 mil split each. And with this money, if we want to, we can swap it for items back in Denma mode if we want to upgrade our gear or not. So as you can see in my inventory, these are the items I currently have for the finals. And we're getting ourselves an armadillo chain skirt as well from Tash, our boy. There's four more upgrades I can get. A cape, a crossbow, boots and suffering. But before we upgrade our gear any further, we need to max this account. All right, goodbye armadillo helmet. You have been a good boy. We didn't die once. Investing it in a whip. We don't need too many levels left and with the sigils I got it should be very very quick Big level coming up. There we go 99 magic on a chicken. That's a 99 strength Beautiful and there we go 99 attack and that is 99 defense. We are done fully maxed. Well not with prayer, but that doesn't matter for um, For the one versus ones and let's get out of here. We can't I need to kill this first. I've been wanting to do raids for a while now, but it has been camped for over two weeks. But I'm gonna do an attempt right now. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, someone scold up on me. He was waiting by the door. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing this shit. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I have decided I'm not gonna be using a Twisted Butler for the finals. We're gonna camp the Dragon Fire Shield and we're gonna buy ourselves a Suffering with this money. 11.5 mil, beautiful. 10.2 mil, we got a Suffering for 10.2 mil. We're gonna imbue the Suffering, beautiful. And that's pretty much where I have decided to call this Denma mode. We are now ready for the one versus ones. We got full Armadillo. We got the Verox rag tank gear, and of course, we do have the Vesta longsword. I'm still thinking about the, what sigils I'm going for, but currently, I'm gonna go for the porcupine, which is the recoil damage. I'm gonna go for the specialized strikes, which is the extra special attack, and I'm gonna go for the potion monster. Uh, I'm considering Pius protection and the feral fighter as well, but as of right now, these are the ones I'm going with. And now we're gonna get back to some regular content, PvP, hard crime, and maybe, maybe some other things. I'm not sure. And uh, I might see you guys again for the one versus ones. Goodbye.